Welcome to the tutorial that I am doing as kind of a spin-off to my uh, automated gear train uh, design tutorial. And this tutorial is more geared toward how to get the solvers compiled and set up for use with PyMO um, optimization suite. So um, the reason I didn't originally include this part in the tutorial is because it's extremely difficult. Um, compiling binary packages is uh, is not fun. It's probably the least fun part of uh, anything to do with uh, computation. So with that being said, if there's any errors that I encounter throughout this tutorial, which I'm sure there will be, um, then just bear with me because that's just the way it is. So. <laughs> To go ahead and get started, um, fire up terminal. You'll notice that I'm on uh, Ubuntu 14.04 uh, right now, but most of this stuff will work on Mac OS X. I'm not sure about Windows. As long as you can get a command line on Windows where you can access things like this, like if you can do this on Windows, or if you can do brew install, um, that should work. So right away, a couple things you're going to need are, uh, the first thing you should get is gfortran. So you're going to get gfortran by doing sudo apt get install gfortran. Okay? And I actually already have gfortran on this machine, so it's going to be like you already have it. So, But for you, it'll go through the whole installation process. Um, I think you can also get it with brew but uh, that's on you to figure out. So can do, can do everything for you. It can help you through most of it though. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to be using uh, a package called Subversion to, um, to download our packages from CoinOR. CoinOR is the people that make the solvers. So for Subversion, we're going to do that same exact thing that we just did, except instead of gfortran, we'll just subversion. Okay, and you can get subversion from brew as well. So running it, and it's, you already got it. So after you have that, we're going to head over to the coin um, a web page, and I'll link this here. And this will tell you what the most current version of coin is. And so it turns out that 1.8 is the newest version so we're gonna we're gonna use this right here to build it um, so without without further ado I'm just gonna type that in alright so now that you got it typed in just hit return or enter and it should download and I'll come back when this is finished okay so that finished up took a took a couple minutes um, right away, you'll notice that this uh, optimization suite we just downloaded with Subversion, it contains some solvers already. So, uh, most primarily Kuin, which is what I like to use. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to continue on, um, and we're going to go into this folder here. All right, now that we're inside this folder, this is another step that we need to do. So I found this tutorial online about how to download the third-party uh, software that that comes with that will come with the optimization suite. Um, it's here under step four. It says add necessary desires third-party source code. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go cd. It says we're inside. We're going to change directory to the third party folder and mumps first. Okay, so now that we're in mumps, we're going to do dot slash get mumps and it will download that. I'll come back when that process is finished. Next, we're going to do glpk. So again, we're going to do, uh, we're going to type in this tilde or however it's pronounced coin dash 1.8 dash third or slash third party slash and to make this easier here in the future 
I'm just going to, oh, whoops, we need to put a CD here in the front. What I'm going to do is just copy this. This is going to make it easier so you don't have to type it in every time. Oh, whoops. Okay. So after mumps, we're going to do uh, GLP, damn it. <laughs> okay. GLPK, kind of having a hard time here. All right, and then the same process as before, where it downloads and installs. I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so now you kind of get the point. We're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to do it with ASL now. And we're, if you're confused, we're just following these steps. So ASL, dot slash get, ASL. And I'm going to fast forward through. Um, Sorry. So we paste, go to ASL, no such file. Hmm. All right, well, we are going to continue. Um, we're going to continue anyway. So go here. Um, Bloss, no third party called Bloss. All right. Oh, this is the problem. I was gonna say, all right, so let's go back and do ASL. All right, there should, there we go. Wow, I was kinda, almost had a heart attack there. I didn't know we we're gonna make this tutorial and you guys are thinking, damn, he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Kinda don't. This is kinda not my, this is not my jam right here. This is like the not fun part of computing, so. All right, so now we got that figured out. So we got ASL, BLOSS. I'll just fast forward to the rest of this because you just got to get all these packages um, additionally. So I'll just fast forward. All righty, and now that that is all done, um, we are inside here and these install instructions are great, but I'm going to go ahead and continue along with these installation instructions instead. Okay, um, just because I think this is a, a little more comprehensive. And so, so to follow along with that, we're going to make a build directory. So by doing that, we can build our packages and keep it all nice and clean in, in a separate directory. So we're going to go into the folder coin 1.8 and we're making a directory here called build. Okay, so we made that directory and now we want to switch over to that directory. Okay, so now we're in that directory. So now we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do the configuration command. And so bear with me, there may be some errors in the configuration command because sometimes some packages just don't like to configure. Um, if that's the case, um, I will figure it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and type this in. And actually, let's not do all these other options. We're just going to do this prefix option. Okay. All right, so now that that is done, that prefix is going to set it so that that's basically we're going to be storing all of our, our build files, our compiled files, and then we're going to be linking them into our uh, path environment variable later. Okay, so we're going to run that, and I'll be back when that is done. All righty, welcome back. So it just finished with the main configuration process. Um, so as you can see there it was successful thank god because usually things like that are uh, not successful so real quick if this failed for you what you would then do is you would need to do a make dist clean you would type that in run it and then you would do remove configuration or config.cache 
Okay, so if you do, af after you do that, then you've basically set it up so you can reconfigure it after you find what find out what the problem is. Okay, so now that we did that, we are going to uh, we're in the build folder, so we're going to go ahead with step six and compile. So we're going to do sudo, and I'm going to do make dash j two. All right, so um, it's now 5:13 p.m., and usually this this process takes like about an about an hour. So I'll see you guys when it's done. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, the compiling just finished, and with Grace, it looks like nothing uh, nothing went wrong. Thank God, right? Okay, so. The next step is we're going to skip these tests because um, in the essence of saving time, you can run the test if you want, but I'm not going to because I like to uh, live on the edge. All right, so we're just doing step nine now, which is creating an installation directory. Okay, so I already have this... Um, directory created so it's not going to let me do it again so now all we need to do is <clears throat> uh, make install and I'm not going to do the check install either because I don't feel like checking it so we're just going to do sudo make install and this will probably take a while as well so I will be back when that is done and we're back looks like we just finished uh, the um, install of the um, coin optimization suite so the first thing or the last thing we need to do is um, is just put the binaries into the path and so the only reason or the only way or the way that we there's two ways we can do this now you can run this um, command here uh, or what you can do is you can go and we already know that we installed we know where we installed the executables right because we go over here right computer and we were working in that USR local share I believe yeah USR local share that's what our install directory was okay so I believe yeah and so then we have coin OR bin and this is where our executables are so if we remember that path what we really need to do is add that to our path environment variable um, it may be different in OSX I can't remember but to add to the path environment variable in in uh, Ubuntu or Linux all we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to say export path is equal to and then dollar sign path and I can't remember if it's yeah so and then we we put this um, separator which is a colon and then we're going to type in that path so that was USR local share coin OR bin slash okay and after we add that that'll be we'll just go ahead and do echo path to see and then we'll see here at the end that that has been added on there and after that has been added on there all we have to do is run it and so after we type in quinn that's the name of the executable we know that it's running because it says what do you want to do uh, it gives us our options here i believe we could also run bondmin in a similar fashion so now our solvers are all set up for use in in pymo this was a pretty error-free installation that I did, and that's probably because I've already done it before. Um, and I, the last time I installed it, I had installed 1.7, and for some reason, 1.8 seems to be more of a easier, easier way to do it. So uh, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I got to cover here. Oh, oh yeah. So okay, if you just add it to the path like this. Um, this isn't going to cut it. We also need to add it to the bash profile. So if we do sudo gedit, um, 
I believe it's dot dot bash profile. Is that what it's called? No, that's not it. Hold on. Okay, this is what it is. So it's slash dot profile. Oh, sudo g edit slash slash dot profile. Okay, now that we're in here, we have the path, right? And so if we want if we want this path to be edited so that we have more, uh, or we want to do that same thing that we just did. So USR local share coin or bin slash and we want to save this puppy close it out and and then let's make sure it's still working all right and it is so now when we restart the computer it won't matter that's still in the path and so it's all ready to go i hope you guys i hope this was helpful um comment if you have any questions because you are bound to have issues when going through this install process it's just very really just a pain so yeah well have you get have a nice night and um keep looking out for new videos